we'll start talking. We'll start talking. Um, so we're all here today um, to thank you guys because uh, I don't think we were in this state of mind about 10 days back when uh, we didn't know where we're headed and where the film is headed. And uh, we were nervous, we were scared, uh, but then we decided to take this path. But I think little did we know that we've got so many people out there, friends like you who are going to support us through this journey. And I think from the bottom of our hearts, we want to tell you that there is no way in hell we could have seen through this without you guys. You guys have been just absolutely fantastic. You've been waiting outside our office in that sun, worst weather in the world. You've been trying your best to get every little information that can help all of us see through this journey. And somewhere I think it became a journey for all of us because we're all doing the same job in our own little jobs, whether we're making movies, you're writing, you're talking about what's going on in the world. So it became a journey for all of us together. And uh, I think the verdict yesterday has been fantastic for all of us. And... Um, um, and uh, I think the verdict that came was absolutely wonderful for all of us, for the country, for Urta Punjab. And uh, we want to thank the court, we want to thank the verdict. But at the same time, I think uh, the amazing thing they've done is they've thrown back responsibility at us because uh, with freedom comes a lot of responsibility. And uh, now that we have the freedom to make and say what we can, thanks to the High Court, I think we have to be more responsible. We have to still enjoy doing what we do, uh, but at the same time, now it's on our shoulders to ensure that we do the right thing so that this verdict is respected and stays with us forever and they don't take it away from us because of our stupidities. So uh, cheers to all of us and to announce that Urta Punjab is coming on the 17th. Chaube will not be sleeping for the next uh, <laughs> many hours like he hasn't in the last many hours. And uh, so 17th, we all hope you come watch the movie and enjoy the movie. It's a beautiful film. It's a lovely film about four lives that are going through uh, the problem, but at the same time, it is sold so magically. Chaube and the whole cast and crew have done a great job. And uh, I think from here on, it's over to them. And let them show us what a great film they've made. And on Friday, we just hope that all of you are in the theaters with us watching the film. And uh, over to Chaube. I really don't have... Um, hello, everyone, first of all. Um, I have really nothing to add to what uh, Vikas has so um, succinctly and brilliantly put. Uh, thankful uh, for you guys, and uh, thanks for coming here today. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. And uh, we're here so that everyone can ask us any questions which we haven't answered, which are still pending. Which, uh, and not just questions, if someone feels like saying something, it's a good place for all of us to get together because we haven't been uh, together in one place and that was the whole idea. And uh, uh, let's just have a nice positive afternoon. Do you want to say something? Any questions? Uh, anything? I think, I think the verdict is bigger than just about one individual because the verdict says that your job is to certify and not to censor. 
and the moment that body knows its responsibility which has been correctly defined i don't think we will be needing to go to the court all the time and i think that's the more important thing our battle was that we do not need to go through this rigor and this problem every time we putting a film out there to be certified and we don't need to go through censorship uh, uh, congratulations to the team of urta punjab for the phenomenal victory uh, this is simran singh from book my show Hi. my question to you is uh, since uh, the court case has been passed like in ab punjab ki government is saying that they want a pre screening to be uh, arranged and they are trying level best to pu uh, pull down the film so uh, shayad aap se and diljeet uh, since you are representing the state to aapko kya kehna hai iske bare mein i think we are all here first of all representing a movie so we should not try and say anybody is representing a state i think we're all trying to represent the film uh and represent freedom of expression i think everybody here supports that i'm honestly completely unaware about what you're stating we're actually here feeling very proud and very happy about what has happened yesterday and i think uh, the honorable bench has given a decision which i have huge respect for i actually even appreciate the one cut that they have given i appreciate it although from a personal point of view i would have wanted this film to pass without any cuts and the shot that has been cut is mine uh but from a from a um you know from a neutral point of view i think uh, what we need to learn from what has been said is that we have the freedom to express ourselves but we need to be responsible uh, so i think that's a very nice balance and it was a very 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 nice decision that was taken and uh, to me that is definitive of the question that was raised with the film urta punjab and to me the issue should end there and i'm unaware of what you have spoken about so i can't comment on it and we're sitting here saying that we're releasing on the 17th of june uh which goes to show that we are moving forward after what has happened yesterday e panga kadon pe jada hun tu dassya e navi gal i don't know main suni nahi halle but main ek gal ta zarur kehna chahna tode saryan da thanks main i'm bombay film industry to nahi ha but jidda film industry ne sare ne support kiti media ne support kiti उसे सारे वधाई के हकदार हाँ तुम सारे ने बहुत सपोर्ट की थी। और अभी साड़ी सारी टीम थोड़े सारे का थैंक्स करना आई स्पैशली बट आर आर नो जी गल की आर आर नो बहुत है हेलो हाई यार दिस इज मयूर फ्रॉम सनिस्तान डॉट कॉम माय क्वेश्चन इज फॉर अभिषेक लाइक गोइंग बैक यू नो वेन दिस इशू वॉज फर्स्ट रेज आई थिंक वन ऑफ द मिनिस्टर्स इन द पंजाब गवर्नमेंट ही वॉज कोटेड सेंग दैट इन द ट्रेलर यू हैड शोन दैट शाहिद कपूर कैरेक्टर से दैट सेवेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द यूथ in punjab is uh, into drugs so that is what uh, you know has started is what i wanted to know from you was the 70 person like is this uh, you taken a creative liberty or uh, is it based on your research uh it's a it's a point of view uh, that uh, was expressed uh, by a character in the film it was that character's point of view um uh, i i stand by uh, the data that the government and aims has provided regarding this matter uh in the film the context was that it was a particular character's point of view and since then we have taken note of the fact that uh, people might take umbrage to it and we rectified it uh alia and shahid harani rana from times now the directors and the filmmakers have spoken about the censor board and the sensibilities as actors what do you reckon about the uh, uh, sort of uh, the cuts that were proposed the bombay high court order and do you reckon that there needs to be a revamp of the censor board um first of all anybody who was speaking uh from our behalf was representing the entire team and uh, a lot of times when actors come in the forefront the issue gets skirted you know because the focus becomes about some one word that the actor said or some one line that the actor said and so it was a team decision for certain individuals who will be able to represent this issue the best i think me and alia are still new to this whole censorship issue uh, there are a lot more people who have had to deal with it for a longer period of time and there were people who were far more experienced and probably had had to go through this struggle many times before and they were a lot more uh, evolved uh, having said that mr kashyap has just arrived uh, they were a lot more evolved uh, and had a much larger understanding of this issue um, so we chose to do it in a way which would be as balanced as possible and i think the representation was not from a point of view of what will get more uh, you know headlines but it was who will speak better and who will represent the film better and i think uh, i have to thank anurag for doing that and uh, really uh, taking it upon himself at a time when he has a film releasing i think just one week after urta punjab 
Raman Raghav. And uh, it's a very busy time for a filmmaker. And I think it was very, very selfless on his part. And I want to remind people about the fact that, you know, one month before the release of a film is an unbelievably tiring, stressful, scary time for the entire team. People are running from one end to, an to another just to get the film ready in time, to book your uh, theatres in time, to make sure that your mixing happens, to make sure that your dubbing is done, to make sure that your promos are running in time, to make sure that you're being able to promote the film correctly, people are aware of it. And at such a time to deal with this kind of a situation is extremely difficult. And we really couldn't have done it without the kind of absolute uh, relentlessness that Anurag put towards the cause and he really took it upon himself and everybody else probably was able to go out there and do what they needed to do because of him. Um, having said that, I think I have complete... Sir, I'll finish it, then I'll finish it. I have, I, have, I have complete respect for uh, the judgment that happened yesterday. I think it was an amazing judgment and I think it has provided insight to people on both sides as to how we need to move forward and uh, so I would say that I would probably agree with everything that the judgment says. But going back to the question, you as actors individually, do you reckon Sensor Board needs a revamp? Alia, if you can take See, that, please. I, I just want to say something very simply. I completely agree with Shahid that whatever communication that was happening on the, on the team's uh, front was all a team, thought, effort, emotion, everything. We all were in this together. But yes, we chose to not say too much because things can be misinterpreted. But I can give you a very personal and maybe a little bit of a naive response that maybe I had. When I heard about um, the, the cuts that were suggested, my first question was to my father, but why and how? But it does not make sense. I was not able to understand. And my father, as Shahid mentioned, there have been people who have fought this and been way mature. My father has been fighting this since the longest time. And he looked at me in a way that, Alia, it is, it is something that happens, but go to the court, fight it, and you will be, you will come out feeling very, um, feeling happy because they will always be on your side. And he was very sure about that. Coming back to again the statement that Shahid made that I am, I, you don't know how happy I was yesterday when I got that SMS that we have passed Urta Punjab with a certificate with one cut. I was so delighted. And that just shows that, um, Eventually, you may have to fight for things that you believe in, but um, the, with the judiciary and the court and the, uh, and the judges, we just, we, we did what we wanted to do. And I feel so happy because I'm a director's daughter. And to know the fact that what a director has to go through when you're saying, ye nikalo, wo nikalo, ye nikalo, wo nikalo. It's like you can't, you don't, you don't understand. The feeling is like your intestines, everything goes all turning all over. So I'm just really happy that we've reached this stage. And yeah, now we can just smile and have the film release. Yeah. Uh, Anurag ji. All right, uh, this is yeah, Krishna here from ET now. One question to Ekta and one question to Anurag. Uh, Ekta, uh, ma'am, the question is, uh, have uh, uh, the, uh, these last minute controversy, has it affected the release plans of the films at, at all? As uh, they're talking about last one month is the most tiring period for a film when it's about to release. Has it affected uh, the release plans at all? And the question to Anurag is, even as Urta Punjab has gotten a, a relief, uh, uh, Anurag, there are a couple of smaller films with smaller banners which are fighting the same fight that you have, but they're not uh, grabbing headlines. So what do you have to say about that? So, um, I think the teams have worked together, Phantom and Balaji, and we have a very interesting set of distributors who have supported us through this whole uh, turmoil, and uh, I think we will be having just the kind of release this film deserves and needs, and um, we won't open it too wide, but it will be, um, be a pretty wide release, keeping its genre and its uh, audiences in mind. Aman, <laughs> you want to take that? It's too early to say right now. Uh, by today, tomorrow evening, we'll get a good idea. But you get about 2,000 odd screens, maybe a bit more. Uh, right now, I mean, that's the attempt. So mm -hmm. we'll know clarity by, by tomorrow, mostly. Uh, hi, this is Pooja. Uh, uh, what was your question again? The question was like, okay, good. The not just in Ulta Punjab. Yeah, yeah. The, no, the, I, I think the... It's a, the battle is far from Urta Punjab, yes. We fought and there was such amazing support this time. The support came starting with Ekta to Phantom, to the distributors, to the industry, to all of you people. So I think, you know, this wouldn't have possible if everybody did not support it and believe in the fight. There are some people who doubted our intentions. Some people said that it, we are doing it for publicity. Some people said we are, have some political affiliations. We have kept 
quite through it all because we believed in our fight and everybody was one and i don't think there is like okay voice probably was mine but i think everybody was behind me otherwise i would not have gone out there and did all that and i have not seen this kind of a support and i feel somewhere yes a lot of smaller films are facing that i read about two films this morning huh i i don't know much shogul i read about one gujarati film and one haram khor and and uh, haram khor is in a way indirectly related to me because produced by gunit so somewhere you know and those films can't fight but the good thing is they have got the letter very clearly i i saw one letter that they got which is what we were fighting for which you are not getting they have got the letter that clearly says they can go to revising or f cat that they can skip revising and go to tribunal which is a good thing which is a great thing because with that letter then a lot of fight is minimized so but i think somewhere yes we need to change the system and i think mr jetly has made a statement in regards to that mr rajivardhan rathor also said something in regards to that and they have made us believe that it will happen to it will happen soon but the way they have said we are hoping that it will happen this month you know in the sense so let's see that it's not like one of those promises that was made 2 years ago so it's all remains to be seen yeah uh -huh. we hope because i think somewhere they have seen the problem they saw the problem in the sense uh, there is something that we have consistently seeing that what happens in a fight like this they always get it always gets lost because it gets too political and people get too defensive and things and it kind of loses focus and this fight was about the film and it was about what we believed in yeah and i think it stayed singular and the industry joined in yeah. and i've never seen so many people come together and seeing that response i think somewhere they've also realized that this see this industry always needed to come together and it became one this time and i think that somewhere has put the pressure on them anurag ji madam aapko lawyer hona chahiye ekta no we my see what happens is if mr Nel, obviously we have humongous problems with mr nelani but if he goes who will come in and what is the guarantee that someone that comes in will not interpret the existing cinematograph act and the law the same way or maybe worse or maybe better way you know the thing is the whole system needs an overhaul the whole system needs an overhaul not just mr pelan and lani needs to be replaced which we want to but the whole system needs a overhaul and i think we as an industry should fight for it because it's about all the other films too in the future in the, for the my biggest worry becomes is when shahid steps out of his zone and believes in a script and he's the one i remember that read the script and passed it on to ali and said that you know you must read the script and do the film and actors encouraging each other to step out of their comfort zone to do a film when something like this happens and everything gets cut down do when well, i don't think he will have the courage next time to attempt a film like this so uh, that is so important for us that you know somebody goes out steps out of their comfort zone and it's for the system to say we are we want to participate we want to say something we want to stand by it but everybody else make sure that it it is communicated that way the way we saw it the way we were promised it so i'm saying somewhere it is it is a collective responsibility yeah. anurag uh, ekta this is I, i know see there's a lot of random rumors and things no but that's a fact i was part of water and i remember there's a group of people who protested against water that group was formed overnight when the protest started it was called kashi suraksha sangharsh samiti i still remember that day it did not exist the day before so these things happen and these things happen all around so you you can't because people sometimes jump in it's like some random person will file a case somewhere just because he fancies a star and he'll put a case against shahid because he wants to see shahid then when shahid would go there all he'll say sir can i get a selfie <laughs> <laughs> you know those kind of things happen across the country somewhere we are the soft target and i think somewhere we should stand up and say stop making us the soft target it's very easy to pick anything against someone and say that 
कि यार इन्होंने ये कह दिया या वो बोल दिया और हम ऑफेंड हो गए हम तो सारा दिन ट्विटर पे कोई ना कोई हमको ऑफेंड करता रहता है अनुराग ऑफकोर्स विद दी एंटरटेनमेंट टैक्स सर्विस टैक्स व्हाट नॉट वी इवन द मोस्ट टैक्स पीपल वी डेफिनेटली डिजर्व टू बी ट्रीटेड विद सम रेस्पेक्ट बाय द सेंटर बाय द गवर्नमेंट बाय द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एब्सोल्युटली आई थिंक इट्स वंस अ फिल्म इज क्लियर बाय द सेंसर बोर्ड इट्स बिकम्स द स्टेट एंड द पुलिस रिस्पांसिबिलिटी टू प्रोटेक्ट द फिल्म अनुराग जी अनुराग जी हम लोग कल बहुत स्ट्रेस थे हमारे लिए फिल्म डिलीवर करना बहुत ये सुबह सुबह सब काम चल रहा था लगातार काम चल रहा था और सारी दुनिया बहुत स्ट्रेस रही है एंड हम लोग पहले अपना काम खत्म कर लें अपने हिस्से का उसके बाद हम लोग आते हैं आपके सामने और कलेक्टिवली सबने लिया था एकता हाय दिस इज पूजा फ्रॉम सी एम बी सी मैम ये वर्डिक्ट आने के बाद यू नो बालाजी टेलीफिल्म का स्टॉक इज लाइक नाइन परसेंट अप इस उम्मीद पे कि शायद आगे जाकर रेवेन्यू और बिजनेस जो है इस मूवी से वो काफ़ी अच्छा मिलेगा वॉट इज़ योर टेक वॉट इज़ योर एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑन द रेवेन्यू फ्रंट ऑन द बिजनेस फ्रंट एंड गोइंग फॉरवर्ड क्योंकि 17 जून को रिलीज है तो क्या कुछ स्ट्रैटेजी आपने बनाई है मूवी की स्क्रीनिंग को लेकर या डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन के फ्रंट पर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई डोंट माइन्यूटली एवर Uh, follow my stock like this. If it's nine percent <laughs> up or ten percent down, CNBC, so that's why what is important is a film was made with yeah. Abhishek's conviction, and um, the only strategy now, after all the delays that we've gone through, is to release it well. As far as I'm concerned, Anurag and the team have given their best to put this film, fight for this film. Abhishek has done his best, and as far as Balaji stocks, ah, <laughs> uh, as I said. there are enough ways to keep the stock up and i hope it keeps staying up but it's not my first and foremost concern okay anurag uh, hi anurag, this is uh, hi, one question for shahid shahid hi uh, first of all congratulations you know after watching heather i was like now what next and you came up with uh, urta punjab you know ye movie ek ma uh, ek ek uh, segment dekhne aati particular audience dekhne aati because abhi jo hype create ho gayi hai itni आई आर यू नर्वस और एक्साइटेड बिकॉज किस तरह का रिस्पॉन्स मिलेगा इस मूवी के थ्रू बिकॉज अब काफ़ी सारी मासेज आएंगी इस मूवी को देखने के लिए बिकॉज ऑफ द हाई फिच इज क्रिएटिव जी मुझे ये ज़रूर लगता है कि जो भी चाहता था कि फिल्म रिलीज ना हो जो भी लोग थे देव एक्चुअली हेल्प द फिल्म बिकम लार्जर दैन इट वॉज ओरिजिनली सो आई डोंट थिंक इट एज सर्व द पर्पज on the other hand we were very scared till two days back whether this film will release at all uh you also go through a process of self introspection you know you ask yourself ke did i do something wrong was there something that was not right uh then you go back to asking yourself that we have the right to express ourselves and i didn't write this film i didn't even know there was such a problem uh but when i heard the script i felt worried i felt worried for my brother i felt worried for my family i felt worried for the youth at general okay, if this is an issue that can strike them then an honest film about that should be made a film that doesn't try and color it nice and pink and blue and green and yellow which is what we do most of the times as actors we try and show people the beautiful side of life um but if we only keep staring at the beauty we will forget the issues that can lie in front of us which we have to fight you know real life is very different and here was a film that was talking about a very real issue which uh, which is an issue for everybody i don't think it's an issue for any particular area or set of people it's it's a general issue but every film has to be based against some backdrop and here was a film which was honestly trying to express itself and say listen guys this is a problem these are the people who are suffering from it see what happens to them don't become one of them fight it and uh, and i felt there was a lot of honesty and sincerity in the way abhishek was wanting to make the film and that's the only reason i would do it why else would i be a part of a film which would be considered dark which would be considered uh, we don't know what kind of people want to see it we know films about drugs have not been made in india very often i mean internationally you have films like dallas buyers club which which are winning oscars or even uh, the wolf of wall street for that matter had extensive use of drugs and it wasn't even a film that was saying don't do drugs you know uh, but you know uh Leonardo DiCaprio and uh Martin Scorsese are probably it was a feather in their cap 
Um, so I, I never saw an issue, you know, and, and when, when I saw things go the way that they did, I really asked myself and, and, and you know, you feel that you want to do something that is beneficial. You don't ever want to do something that's detrimental. Um, and I felt that this was a film that will be beneficial uh, in creating awareness and you cannot create awareness unless you speak the truth. You know, if you sugarcoat things, then you're not going to be able to uh, uh, let somebody… It's like when you go to a doctor, you know, and, and you have an illness. And if he tells you only 20% of what's wrong with you, you won't take it seriously. You know, it's the same thing. If there's a problem that lies within society, you have to speak about it honestly. Only then will the society be aware of the seriousness of the issue. And I felt this film was doing that. Um, so from the beginning till the end, I've always said that the larger cause of this film is telling people that drugs are not good for you. And I think that cause of the film is larger than everything else. And that's why I did this film. Um, I hope people see this film. I'm happy that there is more curiosity for this film. Um, there will be a lot of films that I'll do in my career which will do big numbers and small numbers and hits and flops. But very few films that will give me the opportunity to participate in something that could help people or create awareness in a positive light. And I'm just happy I'm a part of a film like that. And I'm, I'm really happy and relieved. I think that's a word that Abhishek used yesterday when I saw him on the news. And I, I so connected with that word because that was the feeling that I was feeling. You know, they asked him, are you happy? And he said, you know, happiness is devoid of any conflict, but I know I'm relieved. And I can say the same. I feel relieved that the High Court has passed the film and uh, that the people of the country will get to see a product that we all felt uh, was a product that, that, that uh, should, have, should have been put out there. Hello, this is uh, Hello. Manisha from Blockbuster Trade Magazine. I wanted to, to ask a question to Anurag Kashyap. Uh, do you think, uh, you know, it would have been a better idea to get this film cleared uh, by the tribunal by waiting a little more instead of going to the High Court? because you got your other film cleared by the tribunal. And secondly, uh, there is a uh, report on online one, one, today. One, one question at a time. Uh, Let me yeah. answer the first yeah. question. I'm saying you skipped the entire thing why we went to the court. We went to the court because we did not get the letter that officially allowed us to go to the tribunal. There was, okay. we were not allowed to go to the tribunal is why we went to the court. And by that time we were given the letter, the Justice Mahajan, who was heading the tribunal, was on leave. So that's okay. the reason why we went to the court. Of course, we would have gone to the tribunal if we got the letter. Okay, and there is another uh, news today which has appeared, which says that the Punjab High Court has asked for a special screening today at 4 p.m. of the film. And uh, I just wanted to know what is the report all about because we are not very much well informed about no, it. They have appointed a team to view the film, which is watching the film at 4 p.m. So what ha will happen, we'll know only after that. Anurag, hi, Anurag, this is Karmik Anur Verma here on your left. Okay. Hi, this Thanks. is Karmik Verma here from uh, iKarmik.com. Uh, congratulations to all of you. Drugs di maadi karne nikle the, aap logon ne sensor di maadi bhi kar di. Uh, that's on a lighter note. But on a serious note, uh, you know, uh, the country is also facing a huge issue in terms of uh, the age of being an adult or being referred to as an adult and that uh, of a juvenile. Uh, of course, the Nirbhaya case, I think the debate uh, started off with that. But uh, in your personal opinion, and uh, especially in context with this film, do you think um, the age should be revised? See, uh, I don't think so. It's in, I can give you my opinion, but it's not in my hands to say that because, yes, one way I see it, I look at my 15-year-old daughter and I think that f at 15-year-old, she's much more mature than I was at 20. So that's one way of looking at it. Even the judge, honorable judge said that today people born after a certain 80s have, are much more, because it's the age of information. Today's children have more information, have more access because of the internet. So they're more aware that they are seeing things. Like today we have kids who download and watch Game of Thrones because it's not, a, it's, it's, when it's telecast on television, it's cut down. And sometimes there's parental censorship where parents don't allow them to. But I know they watch them because I, I get these, I, I read these forums where 15, 16 year olds are talking about it. So I'm saying somewhere, yes, the kids are much more mature and we become extremely insecure and protective about them and we sometimes have this hard thing to accept it. But that is more, I think it's more up to the psychologists and the psychiatrists and people, I don't know who whoever job it is to say that, okay, this is the age of people who can think for themselves now and maybe it's come down. 
but it is maybe one needs to do more research and there's more data that needs to be collected. I can give you my personal opinion with my experience. Which yeah. is, yes, Anuragi. it should. Anuragi. Okay, the second question, Anurag, is that, you know, the general sentiment in the media and, of course, uh, nationwide was also the fact that the movie was under so much scrutiny and this entire fiasco took place because of the Lok Sabha elections which are due in Punjab next year and the Akalis and the BJPs on one side and AAP on the other side were going loggerheads at that. Uh, during this entire tenure, was there any kind of calls that you got from any of the political establishments for support or for admonishing you? See, I, I won't say anything. Yes, uh, when, we, when the whole thing kind of erupted, before even I, we spoke, I don't think anyone from either Balaji or Phantom was even talking to the media because we just wanted to release our film. We only wanted to get our certificate properly and release our film. So we kept away because all the rumors and everything, where it was coming out from, who was talking about it, how many cards, we don't know. So when the thing happened, when it went out of the hand, we realized we are not getting the letter. Yes, we started, did, I started to get calls and I very vehemently and very clearly said, stay out of it. Yeah. Can you tell us who called? No, you? I won't. <laughs> We, very clearly and very vehemently, I asked them to stay out of it. And the moment I got my first call is the moment I went on Twitter and put up a tweet to ask people to very clearly stay out of it. Okay, Anurag, the question is Anurag, to Ekta Anurag. and Madhu, um, because the two of you have been very quiet. Uh, Madhu, first, you please, could you tell us if this country really needs uh, a censor board? And uh, do you think that, you know, both of you uh, or the entire team could, you know, see the light of the day as far as this film is concerned? Because this is a power pack you know, producers, film. You, we've got Phantom on one side, we've got Balaji on the other side, we also have Madhu, we've got Vikas. Do you think that's the reason why you guys could win? That's the reason we could win? No, As I, we I, said, I, from my side, only Anurag will talk. <laughs> the way you said, you got Phantom on one side and Balaji on the other side and Madhu and Vikas. I think Madhu and Vikas are officially not Phantom anymore. <laughs> Ji, uh, Anurag? <laughs> Phantom, the media has made my company. Bana diya. Char <laughs> Longi. <laughs> Anurag ji. Uh, uh, let yeah. me answer that. Let me say, say that uh, I think the judiciary in this country is, works very well, right? And we've seen that time and again. And I don't think it's about the power of the producers. I think it's, it's the power of the judiciary. And the fact that as, us as citizens all have a choice to appeal whenever we feel that something is not right. And I'd like Anurag to say this uh, release has not happened because of Balaji or Phantom. It's happened because, I, I mean, one, the ju judiciary. Second, the uh, film and produ uh, the directors and producers associations that got together, all of them, uh, Mukesh ji, I have to mention him, Karan, various directors and producers, fans, and of course the media. No battle, however big, can be fought without having conviction and somewhere a certain amount of support. Of course, the judiciary gave the final verdict, but the support cannot be ever, um, should I say, it's so unimaginable and so overwhelming that we, I, we actually are here to say thank you. It can't be done by Balaji or Phantom alone. Yeah. Anurag, yeah. Uh, your first film was a lot of censor board. Mein bohot problem hui thi. Aapko sab kuch pata hai. उसको जिस ऑफिसर ने बोल डिसीजन लिया विनायक आजाद उन्होंने ओमकारा भी की थी ओमकारा के बाद उनके पास इतने सारे वो परेशान हो गए क्योंकि ऑल ओवर इंडिया से इतनी सारी याचिकाएं आई वो कोर्ट में ज्यादा बिजी रहते थे बजाय कि फिल्म सेंसर करें तो आप मैं खुद फिल्म सेंसर बोर्ड में पिछले 10 सालों से जुड़ी हूं और मैंने काफी विरोध किया है कुछ-कुछ चीजों का लेकिन मैं आपसे यह सिर्फ सवाल करना चाहती हूं कि आपके जैसे जो स्ट्रॉंग प्रोड्यूसर्स होते हैं उनकी ये ड्यूटी नहीं बनती है कि सेंसर बोर्ड को या उनके ऑफिसर्स को कोसने के बजाय आप गाइडलाइंस चेंज करने के लिए एक मुहिम चलाएं और उसको जो आईएनबी मिनिस्ट्री है मैं आपकी बात समझ गया और वो मुहिम चली हुई है वो मुहिम बहुत सालों से हम लोग कर रहे हैं and I think कहीं ना कहीं सबको भी ये रिलाइजेशन है वो हम लोग कर रहे हैं वो चीजें हम कर रहे हैं लेकिन कई बार क्या होता है कि इसी गाइडलाइंस में हमने वासेपुर भी रिलीज की इसी गाइडलाइंस में हमने देवडी भी रिलीज की है हमें इस तरह की कभी दिक्कतें नहीं आई और जब भी हमें लड़ना पड़ा जैसे कि मैंने ब्लैक फ्राइडे में भी लड़ाई की हम लोग ने कहीं वो एक हमेशा फेयर फाइट थी 
आपको एक रीजन दिया जाता था आप उस रीजन से उस इंटरप्रिटेशन से लड़ते थे आपको जो लड़ने का ग्राउंड भी था वो भी बहुत फेयर था ये जो था ये थोड़ा सा गड़बड़ था यहाँ पे आपके पास वो है ही नहीं मतलब आपको एक तरफ बोला जा रहा है दुनिया आपको बोल रही है आपकी फिल्म बैन होगी दुनिया आपको बता रही है क्या कट्स हैं हाँ आपको कान में बोले जा रहे हैं लेकिन आपके पास कागज़ नहीं है आपके जब कागज़ नहीं आप करोगे क्या हम सी ये बहुत ही ये ये फाइट वैसी फाइट नहीं थी मतलब हर बार हम मैंने लड़ाई की है और कभी आके इस तरह सी चीज़ें हुई नहीं है ये एक पूरा एक एक थोड़ा सा ये पावर गेम था ये ऐसा और इस तरह का इंटरप्रिटेशन पहले कभी नहीं देखा मैंने तो मेरे को अभी आप बोलिए मैं दो, दो साल पहले जो मैंने फिल्म बनाई अभी बनाने से आदमी डरेगा जिस तरह से पिछले दो साल से हो रहा है सो so, ये ये ऐसा नहीं है ये लड़ाई हाँ गाइडलाइंस की जहाँ तक की बात है ये सिनेमाटोग्राफ एक्ट बहुत पुराना है और बासी हो चुका है उसको रीवै रीलुक करने की जरूरत है उसको अमेंड करने की जरूरत है वो हंड्रेड है और उसके ऊपर काम भी हुआ आई थिंक रिपोर्ट भी सबमिट की जा रही है श्याम बेनिगल से इस बारे में आपकी कुछ बात हुई है आप लोगों की कलेक्टिव वे में हम लोगों को सी व्हेन ही इज हिज कमिटी इज डूइंग अ रिपोर्ट वी कैन आस्क हिम क्या हो रहा है ही विल से हो रहा है भी एक और रिपोर्ट करनी बाकी उससे ज्यादा वो भी नहीं कह सकते कोई नहीं कह सकता उनकी अपनी एक बाउंड्रीज है जिनको हम फोर्स नहीं कर सकते और वो बहुत सीनियर भी हैं वी ऑल थिंक ही इज द राइट मैन टू बी देर एंड इज द राइट मैन विज राइट अमाउंट ऑफ एक्सपीरियंसिस सो वॉट एवर ही सबमिट विल बी इन द फेवर ऑफ सिनेमा also apparently cbfc is making a move to supreme court to put a stay on urta punjab's release if it happens what would be the team's move i don't think they're doing that if it happens what can one do one has to go and represent the film uh hi this is simrita from filmikari on to your left uh to your left please uh yeah there's already too much said about the film and as it is it was very naive anybody for anybody against the film not to understand that drugs is the basic cause of the film and everything is else is just the mold is it's casted in so i've been meaning to do i've since i've entered the press con cheers to you guys urta punjab hi i am from the buzz diary uh congratulations on the positive court order uh there are so many things said about urta punjab already i want to ask a off track question to alia bhat uh i am a bihari you play a bihari in this film uh how much of uh, the bihariness did you actually absorb uh, from this film or did you just leave it there um, okay so when i was playing this character whose name i cannot take i just also want to say her name is not kumari pinky because this is going to get a lot of coverage so everybody can know ki uska naam kumari pinky nahi hai um the idea of the what screamed out about this character to me was not that not that she was a bihari or that she was in a punjabi whoever she was was the issue and the condition and the state that she was in so that's what screamed out to me as opposed to how much bihari or how much of the language i know bihari is not a language but how much of the dialect i picked up from bihar and punjab and how convincingly i pulled it off i think that only abhishek chobe can answer but i can definitely say what i took away from this character was far more disturbingly pleasant and far more uh, advanced and ahead of just the fact that she belonged from bihar because the this i would not wish something like this on anybody nobody should go through what she went through or and like as opposed to any of the other um, addicts or uh, 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 people who are going through who are under the substance abuse issue um And yeah, that's what I took away. I think. So, was this the toughest character you played yet? Definitely, or, uh, definitely. Definitely, it has it has been the most toughest part. And it, it 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 initially I it actually took some almost little bit convincing for Abhishek Chobe to believe that I can do a part like this. But I'm so glad that Shahid decided to give this script to me and come to me with this script and just say, Alia, just read it, because I have learned so much of um, just just. not even will power just the kind of strength that some people really need to have to just live a life it's it, you i empathized with her tremendously i couldn't relate to her but the kind of empathy that i had for the character and for people who are probably going through this was just enormous i wanted to ask to people over here has this controversy ruined you for experimenting in the future or you will continue experimenting you see us sitting out here 3 days before the release after all that we've been through supporting the film doesn't that speak for itself yeah. another thing that i want to say is that stop judging films and characters after seeing a pr- one minute promo it's a two and a half hour film maybe 2 hours 20 minutes uh if you feel there's any credibility in any of the people sitting out here even 1% have 
have the discretion to wait till you view the film before passing judgment or creating controversy. Isn't it the same thing that has been happening with this film so far? All the controversy has been created without the film even being viewed. Please see this film. There are some sensible people sitting out here who must have thought something adequate. Our images, our names are at stake. Why would we do that to ourselves, if not to you guys, you know? Uh, give some credit to this girl sitting out here who is known to be this beautiful, desirable, lovely heroine, youth icon who probably has 20 endorsements, who has the courage to go and play the character of a drug addict. Why is she doing that to her image? Because there's some substance within her which is making her feel responsible enough to pick a role that's not just about her looking pretty and desirable, but it's a, it's, it's a role which is real and which talks about issues that necessarily we don't suffer, but we believe they need to be spoken about. The journey of the character that she plays is probably one of the toughest journeys I have seen of any character in a Hindi film. It's extremely brave, very wise and evolved of her to take the role up. So please see the film before only limiting it to one word or one category. Please view the film. The, the purpose of the film is humane. And I think that's above any uh, type of, uh, you know, divide that we try to create. Why are we looking at creating divides to find controversy? Are you not Indian? Are you not young? Is drugs not a problem for you? Why do you view yourself in, a, in, in that category? Just go and view the film as a normal human being and see if it's trying to say something good. And then we'd be happy to talk to you about any issues that you might have. Hi, Shahid, Shivangi here uh, from IBM 7. My questions to the two of you. First of all, many, many congratulations that the film's releasing now. We've seen the trailer. We've also seen Shahid's videos, which he has posted on Instagram, where you're, you know, actually, the, the, the video shows. I was so that excited worked. yesterday that maybe this film is actually releasing that I just <laughs> went berserk on Instagram, yeah. You know, uh, of course, kudos to you guys for actually taking up a role. And it's pretty evident in the trailer that, you know, a lot of hard work has gone into it with your dreadlocks and, you know, whatnot. You've actually worked at the character of a rock star. You know, it's very encouraging to see and it's very heartening to see that, you know, mainstream actors are picking up roles which sort of, you know, challenge them, which, you know, you, which you said very rightfully that, you know, it's not just about doing happy films. But then again, when, you know, something like when the in intolerance controversy broke out, mainstream stars actually came forward and expressed their opinion. In this case, you know, you are, ac you've actually fought a court case and, you know, now your film is going to release. But then again, does it really, because Anurag said that, you know, actors are soft targets as well. So somewhere, is there a certain sense of fear that as mainstream actors, as very, very popular actors, somewhere you're always guarded, you don't want to speak your mind? Uh, there's two sides to what you're saying. Yes, on one hand, when uh, Matthew McConaughey won the best actor for uh, Dallas Buyers Club, um, the word Dallas, which is an area, was mentioned in that film. And nobody said that, oh, you're trying to say that, you know, AIDS is only there in Dallas. So I think that kind of evolved point of view is required. Having said that, I feel extremely fortunate that we're sitting here today, three days away from the film releasing, um, in a country where we can express ourselves. And yes, it is, it is something that, that needs to be fought for sometimes, but it's there. So I feel very proud of our country. I feel very pr proud of our judiciary. Uh, and, and I feel very, very um, fortunate to be uh, in a country where I can attempt it. And I think everybody has a right to go out there and question. Uh, and maybe uh, a certain amount of, uh, like what Anurag was saying, that some kind of protection. Uh, you know, when you're going to uh, 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 an authority and they're giving you, and they're passing the film, beyond that, I think some discretion should be there because otherwise it just becomes a frustrating, tiring process. Uh, and if we want cinema to evolve, uh, then we have to allow the freedom of expression. We have to, you know, allow people to say what they need to say, creative people. Otherwise, they feel stifled, you know. There's, there's one thing I want to say to even uh, you and your questions because, you know, I've seen that happen many times and I also, some, I've also read about somebody picking on Ali about things like that. You know, I made a film which starts in Bihar and ends in Jharkhand. Tell me one person here if you thought anybody in the film was Bihari. No, even the Bihari actors were not being Bihari. So I'm saying, why was Manoj Bajpayee not picked out? Because when we make a film, we want to create a language which is accessible. If I use Maithili, 
if I use any other language, the audience will alienate. Uh, my budget of the film will go down to 50 lakhs to a crore. It will probably be state-funded film released in the state. I'm saying it's not a language that people speak. When Lagan was also made, they chose to speak, characters spoke Avadi. It's a variation of, but it's, a, it's closer to Hindi that people understand. It's very important to make a film where people understand. Otherwise, the language of the film will make Urta Banja feel like no smoking. <laughs> so I'm saying, Fir aapko mein aega, aap humko gali doge. So I'm saying, it is not that. So, and you have to understand, it's the choice that the director makes that I am, I am using this language and I am, it's an emotional journey for an actor. And the actor picks up whatever is pushed into a direction into and sometimes they go further. So I'm saying you cannot just sing, pick out like that. And I made so many films based in Bihar. Where everybody speaks a variation of Hindi and not a single person speaks Mahathili. I'm saying one should stop with that kind of a judgment, especially just because somebody has, you see her doing only mainstream films. आप लोगों ने बॉलीवुड में एक ऐसा दौर चल रहा है जब रियल इश्यूज पे फिल्म बन रही है आप लोगों ने फिल्म बनाया तो उस पे इस तरह से रिएक्ट किया गया है तो क्या आगे चलकर रियल इश्यूज पे फिल्म बनाने से पहले आप लोग एक बार सोचेंगे मैं बिल्कुल आई डोंट थिंक सो मैं बिल्कुल मैं तो बिल्कुल नहीं सोचूंगा मैं तो बनाता ही आया हूं अनुराग बनाएंगे क्या अगर रियल इश्यूज पे फिल्म नहीं बनाएंगे तो <laughs> और क्या है मतलब अच्छी बात है ये हो रहा है और शुरू शुरू में होता है डील करना मुश्किल होता है दूसरी चीज पहलाज नीलानी और सेंसर बोर्ड ने इस पे इतना सवाल उठाया है पहलाज नीलानी जो नीलानी ने जो खुद फिल्में बनाई हैं उनमें इतने अब्यूजिव वर्ड्स हैं बीइंग अ डायरेक्टर उस पे आपका क्या ओपिनियन है बीइंग अ डायरेक्टर उस पे आप क्या कहना चाहेंगे आई थिंक यू नो इज वेरी हम इतना हम लोग जो इतने मोरलिस्टिक बन जाते हैं ना मैं बहुत बार पहले भी कह चुका हूं कि मुझे अगर किसी चीज से दिक्कत है मैं देखने नहीं जाऊंगा बल्कि मैंने आंखें देखी है और मैंने शोला और शबनम देखी है मैं कॉलेज में था मैंने दोनों ही फिल्में मुझे मजा आया था मैं गोविंदा का फैन रहा हूं ठीक है, so I I will not sitting here in the judgement, हाँ और दूसरी चीज ये है कि अगर मैं मुझे लगता है कि मैं एक realistic film बना रहा हूँ और मेरे बगल में अमन गिल बैठा है बोलता है मुझे यार ये तो तुम्हारी फिल्में नहीं समझ में आती मुझे तो ये sex समझ में आता है वो तीसरा बोलता है मुझे सिर्फ violence समझ में आता है मैं बोला वो लड़ाई जो हम तीनों की हक मुझे मैं बोलूंगा कि हाँ मेरी जो सेक्स कॉमेडी जो हमने हंटर की थी वो ज्यादा रैशनल है और तुम्हारी जो सेक्स कॉमेडी है वो वाहियात है वो हमारी लड़ाई है वो रहेगी लेकिन रिलीज करने का और बाहर अपनी बात कहने का हक दोनों को उतना ही है बराबर है सो वो जो चीज है आई थिंक वो हमें बंद कर देना चाहिए हम अगर पहलाज नहलानी के इंटरप्रिटेशन से हमें दिक्कत है तो हमें अपनी दिक्कत वहीं तक सीमित रखनी चाहिए उन्होंने पास्ट में क्या फिल्में बनाई है इतनी मास में जाके लोगों ने देखी है तो कहीं ना कहीं उस फिल्म ने कुछ तो एंटरटेन किया है किसी को तो फिर हम अभी बैठ के रिट्रोस्पेक्ट में अपने आप को इतना सुपीरियर क्यों बन जाते हैं कि अरे उन्होंने देखो क्या किया था मेरा उनका प्रॉब्लम अभी से है अभी उनको क्या हो गया We'll have last two questions. Anurag, Anurag, and Daljeet, you have a question. Hi, this is Ravi Kumar from Bollywood. The difference between the Punjab elections and the Punjab elections has been made and there has been so many churches and churches. Do you think the other people have not seen it? Does this film have a effect on the Punjab elections? Do you think there is something like content, story, and film? I think the film is very close from politics and the truth is very close. The film is happening with people and with characters. And if this film is released and released, then I don't think this film is released. तो मुझे नहीं लगता कि इसका उस तरह का इम्पैक्ट होता है वो इम्पैक्ट जो है बना दिया गया है जीप सा वो ना एक खामखा उसको इतना बड़ा बना दिया गया है तो वो है वो कहीं ना कहीं कहीं इनसिक्योरिटी से आता है किससे आता है मुझे नहीं मालूम लेकिन मुझे नहीं लगता ये फिल्म जो है चार कैरेक्टर्स की कहानी है पहले भी बोला हूँ अभी भी बोल रहा हूँ इस फिल्म में आप पॉलिटिशियन कैरेक्टर को दिखते हो तो उसका कोई एफिलिएशन नहीं दिखता वो भी टी वी आता और चला जाता है सो ऐसा कुछ है नहीं फिल्म में तो बाकी सब जो है वो फिल्म एक सोसाइटी एक समाज की कहानी और आप फिल्म देखिए उसके बाद आपको ज़्यादा अच्छा होगा आप खुद ही जवाब देंगे इसका अब तक शाहिद के हैदर फिल्म शाहिद का नाम आता ही हैदर का किरदार एक उन्होंने अपने लिए ऊंचा पायदान बना दिया है तो आप ये टॉमी सिंह आने के बाद हैदर के बराबर के टक्कर का एक नया किरदार शाहिद की करियर में अनुराग आलिया आप लोगों से जाना चाहेंगे I think, I mean, personally, and I have seen Shahid swim since Ishq Vish time. I think he was tremendous in Heather. It was a very different performance. Tha. But the, the Tommy Singh character that Shahid has played in Urta Punjab is something that, even if you look at Shahid today, you will not imagine that he'll ever be able to play that character. Because it's that, like, away. And he's just gone for it and how. And 
and how. And I just want, I'm waiting to see what people say. Uh, the most amazing thing is starting with the language of Tommy Singh to every habit of his. I think Shahid is unaware of anything in his personal life. <laughs> Anurag sir, uh, this is Ravi Kumar from Bollywood Adda. Sir, aapki bilgo saamne sir, aapki lip mein. Sir, sir, is mein koi, koi dohra nahi ki film ne historic victory hasil ki hai, Sinsar Board ke khilaaf. Aap se mein sawaal karna chaata hoon. Ek request hai pehle hum sab ye shapat lehen. कि हम सेंसर बोर्ड बोलना बंद कर देंगे बोर्ड ऑफ सर्टिफिकेशन बोलना शुरू करेंगे ये शपथ ले लो यार लेट्स स्टार्ट एटलीस्ट बाय कॉलिंग इट करेक्टली है ना जी एक हिस्टोरिक विक्ट्री है लेकिन साथ ही साथ फिल्म को एक अलग खिताब भी दिया जा रहा है फिल्म आपका जो घटनाक्रम है जो फिल्म ने सेंसर बोर्ड के खिलाफ जो जद्दोजहद की है ब्रो हाँ नो फिर से सीबीएफसी बोलो सीबीएफसी बोलो फिर से no, no, we are not allowed to censor anything. The film has been against the CBFC. With that, people are also saying that the whole thing is that it is also an unintentional publicity. So, what do you say about that? One thing, I'm sorry, I'll interfere. We haven't done anything against the CBFC. We have only done anything against the CBFC. And we haven't done anything against the CBFC. We haven't done anything against the CBFC. So, this whole thing is also an unintentional publicity. खिताब दिया जा रहा है तो इस पर आप क्या कहेंगे? देखो ऐसा होता है ना कि मैं मेरी ये अगर ये ये चीज होती ब्लैक फ्राइडे के साथ तो मैं कह सकता हूँ कि पब्लिसिटी का बजट नहीं था उस समय, ठीक है? इस फिल्म में पब्लिसिटी का बजट था हमारे पास, हमारे पास मैं नहीं मालूम था हमारी फिल्म आ रही है कि ये चीज में कहीं ना कहीं सच्चाई थी जो इस चीज एक सुनामी की तरह बन गया था। I think जो चार दिन जो उड़ता पंजाब का हर चारों तरफ चल रहा था, वो कहीं ना कहीं एक सच्चाई थी जो लोगों तक पहुंची। और unfortunate है कि कोई इसको publicity कहता है, because मैं एक आदमी जो मैं तो वैसे भी दूर भागता हूँ। पहले द आपने बात किया था या मुबारक बात उनकी तरफ से आपको आया था आप करना क्या चाह रहे हैं आप आप एक आप नहीं मैं ऐसे आप वो कौन सी वो गॉसिप मैगज़ीन है यूएस में आप उसके लिए अप्लाई करना चाह रहे हैं मैं मैं इतना बढ़िया मतलब हेडलाइंस क्रिएट कर सकता हूँ नहीं कोई बात नहीं अभी अभी नहीं Hi. Election के बारे में I don't know I have no idea क्या होगा क्या नहीं होगा हाँ definitely क्योंकि जिस जिस intention से ये movie बनाई गई है movie आएगी तो definitely awareness तो आप अभी देख रहे हो कितनी पूरे world में बात हो रही है I have friends in Canada, US, England, so all the radio is talking about this. So, I don't think it's going to be two ways. I don't think it's going to be two ways. And as much as this film is made, everyone has worked. Definitely, I think it's going to be two ways. Hi team, this is Asta from Movie Fight. First of all, I want to congratulate all of you for this amazing feat. Thank you. Second of all, I want to congratulate all of you for this amazing feat. Thank you. Second of all, I want to congratulate all of you for this amazing feat. Secondly, Diljit sir, my question is to you. This is your Bollywood debut. And you've chosen a film which is definitely very close to the state you come from, even though it's a nationwide, very relevant issue. However, the film is around your state. So what was your motivation behind choosing to go for this film? And what is your take on the entire thing that has happened regarding Punjab and now the Punjab High Court reacting against the film? The Punjab High Court, I don't know. I have no idea what's going on. I had one reason for choosing the film that it was Punjab. I was talking about a Marathi picture or a Hindi language, so it won't be fair because I don't relate to it here. So it was Punjab's picture and the picture was written well. Like Abhishek Sir has written me, so I think this is my best debut. Yesterday someone tweeted that Farhan Akhtar has been welcomed to Bollywood. So I think it's Abhishek Sir's word. Abhishek Sir, this is your first film. Yes, this is my first film. So no doubt this was one reason that this film was connected to the picture that this film was connected to Punjab. That's why I have done a picture. Thanks, thanks ma'am. On that note, we end the press conference. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Thank, Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank, Thank you. So